Without further ado, let's hear from Parity directly. And this is Durham Elder Abuse Network, Jennifer Josephson Person. Jennifer? Hi, thank you very much. I'm gonna just jump right into um, the facts about Durham Elder Abuse Network. We have been in the early 90s and we are a very passionate group of service providers made up jewels all across Durham region in both the private sector and non-for-profit sector, care, justice, um, home care services, long-term care, uh, uh, educate and ad educates and advocates for uh, senior safety and elder uh, Durham region. Um, we have had a very strong voice in a number of different uh, issues in Durham region. We, um, we highlight um, instances where elder abuse is brought to the media. Uh, we have very influential groups meet and uh, each month and we, we tackle some of those really tough issues. The elder abuse, unfortunately, in Ontario and that it doesn't exclude in Durham region is about percent of our older adults experience some form of elder abuse. We actually, those of us who hold of elder abuse know that that number is probably much higher because elder abuse is very um, under, mainly because a lot of the instances occur within families and they, the abusers are a person in the position of trust. So we know that that number is probably much greater educated professionals within Durham region that the elder abuse network supports and the funds that we receive through fundraising and do, uh, donations uh, many of much of that money go victim support so a few examples of how we've been able to assist with experienced abuse while neglect or are just a senior in need um, we any with moving expenses, we've ex we've um, assisted folks with uh, accommodation, retirement home stays to get them out of an unsafe situation that they're living in. Um, most recently, able to help two very uh, needy older adults residing in long-term care. Um, income both had very complex medical issues happening. No family, no um, means of seeing uh, a specialized wheelchairs so that they can um, socialize. So more importantly, so one older adult could actually get out and receive dialysis treatments. Um, many, of their, many of the cost of the wheelchair was covered through the assisted devices program, but there is a portion response for the older adult to pay and they were just simply unable to pay it. And they were simply unable to um, access um, that, that they were requiring. So the Durham Elder Abuse Network was able to pull together funds to assist them in purchasing those. We've had instances where our network has brought cases of act to the table and we've been able to fully furnish apartments. We've been able to provide groceries and support with clothing, um, rent arrears, all of those types of things for use. And that is happening right in our backyard. One of, uh, one of our really unique, um, we haven't been able to do for the past two years simply because of, of COVID and sponsorship and is our senior safety calendar. And that calendar is very popular with our older adults. Years previous, we were distributing upwards of 6,000 copies um, per year to for adults in the community. And those calendars were really instrumental in providing the contact information and really helpful tips for seniors um, to prevent being abused. And if they were, the calendar provided those in those essential contact information use to reach out and get help. Um, our older adults were one of the hardest hit group for the past two years. Many did not um, did not do well during the isolation. Um, prevention, we know, for elder abuse and senior safety is a key to uh, empowering adults, um, to identify, recognize, and report abuse. So the elder abuse network is very hard to, to do that. So the funds that we would generate hopefully from you today will help in all those. We also provide emergency meal programs in partnership with Community Care Durham to older adults who are um, assistance with accessing food immediately. We can provide frozen or fresh meals to who is finding themselves in a hard, uh, a hard situation. So all of those things 
projects are things that work works very hard ha on com uh, providing in Durham region. And uh, we really appreciate the support and um, we appreciate the acknowledgement from 100 Women Who Care and bringing us here as three chosen organizations. And I wish my fellow competitors uh, luck today. I'm up against two great organizations that I, I know do wonderful things in our community as well. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jennifer.